antimatter has been theoretically predicted, experimentally found, and is nowadays commonly used in medical applications. However, no significant traces of antinuclei have been found in the world around us. This immediately poses two questions. Is this situation representative for the entire observable universe? And why is it like that? To answer the first question, we review the known astrophysical bounds and the presence of antimatter in the universe. We conclude that there is most likely none. However, antimatter was present in the early universe. As long as the temperature was high enough for pair creation to occur, particles and antiparticles were continuously created and annihilated. The matter that we observe today originates from a small excess of matter, one part in 10 billion, that remained after all other particles and antiparticles had annihilated. To address uh, the second question, we uh, discuss different uh, possibilities how baryon asymmetry of the universe could have been emerged. And uh, we concentrated uh, our opinion on uh, those uh, mechanisms and scenarios which can be uh, tested in uh, now or in the near future. We uh, consider the standard model of elementary particles and argue that uh, it is very unlikely that it can explain baryon asymmetry of the universe. And finally, we discuss uh, a minimal extension of the standard model by three uh, neutral fermions, sterile neutrinos, which can not only address the question of baryon asymmetry of the universe, but which can also solve that matter puzzle and uh, neutrino oscillations and masses.